Hello, it's Squawk Zed here with my next K-50 instructional video on this wonderful attack helicopter. In this video, I'd like to talk about the hover mode. Now, if you haven't watched my previous video, I suggest you go have a look um, to find out basically what this button does, this flight director mode on and flight director mode off, because we're going to be talking about that and how we transition into a hover using both the different trimmer settings. So if you haven't checked it out or you're unsure of what this button does, then please do um, check out my previous video. Hopefully it'll help you. Okay, well let's get started. How do we get into a hover? Well, I'm going to bring up my inputs here. You can see there on the bottom left, you've got the position of my cyclic, and my collective and the rudder pedals. Now we're going to start off in flight director mode which we've spoken about previously, which puts these two dashes either side of the HUD, tells me my last position of trim. And we're going to take off, so we're going to raise the collective, lower the pitch of the aircraft or the nose, and as we take off, we're going to raise the gear. And I'm going to do those little minute trims that give that fine level of control with flight director mode on, which I absolutely love just helps us set the aircraft up for a nice transition of this airfield and remember this flight director mode is really good for that close quarters arena pulling aggressive maneuvers or even fine maneuvers um, where you want to just trim out um, a turn or a bank etc okay so if we're looking to go into a hover with flight director mode on um, and off, it doesn't matter which, um, we need to bring the Black Shark helicopter into a hover manually before we engage the hover mode. You can't just click the hover mode switch and it put you in there. It doesn't work like that. You actually need to bring the, the Black Shark to a standstill. So to do that, what we need to do, we need to raise the pitch, in our case, because we're going forward, of the Black Shark. We need to lower the collective to try and keep level. And as we slow down, we'll start to see an indicator in the HUD telling us how close we are to being stationary, which is really helpful when we um, transition into the hover or we want to engage the hover mode. So here we go, we're slowing down, slowing down. Okay, and we should see a line in a second. Uh, here we go. Now that vertical line, let's just hold it here so you can see what that does. That vertical line is telling us how far away from being stationary we, we are. So if we if we push forward, we pitch down, you'll see that line's increasing, which is showing we're accelerating away from a stationary position. If we pitch back up, you can see that we're slowing back down to the stationary position. So the idea of this really is to get that as short as possible, that line, and in the middle. See if we bank right, you'll see we start accelerating to the right, away from a stationary position. We bank left, it's telling us we're now banking left away from, and we're accelerating away from the stationary position. So what we need to do is get that line in the center as much as possible. So we do that now. Now this is where flight director mode, and this is my favorite mode for getting into a hover, come, helps us. We can start trimming you can start seeing we start fine trimmer movements just to bring that line back into the middle. And once you get the hang of this, you'll actually find you don't need to engage the hover autopilot. You can do it yourself. Such a stable platform. Here we go. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Of course, you can do this a lot more quickly. There we go. If we look outside, you see... We're pretty much in a hover. But to get to tell the Black Shark to get into um, uh, a hover that's managed by the autopilot, what we need to do, we need to switch. Once this line is as short as we can get it, we need to switch the flight director off. And we need to click the hover button on the cyclic. And look, you'll see two marks appear on the HUD. And we are now level. So Let's have a look at these then. <laughs> so when I click that hover button, what happened then was immediately beneath the aircraft, the aircraft designated a point 
that we want to hover over. So we designated a point and that's depicted by this square here. This circle is effectively the Black Shark helicopter and its position in relation to that hover point that we set the moment we click the hover button on the cyclic. Now what's really important here as you probably guessed is to keep that square as much as possible within that circle and, you're, and the autopilot should be able to maintain the hover. But let's say you were to pitch rear, but you pitch up and move rearwards. Watch what happens to the point of hover. You can see it. I'm now moving back from that point that I set as my hover point. Now, if I let go of the cyclic, it's going to the aircraft's going to really struggle to get me back there. It might be able to do it. It's not too far away, but I'm not putting any input in now. So we're seeing if it can get me back there. And it's, it's pretty much managed it. Now, I'd say anything more aggressive uh, than that, and you'll likely lose the ability to um, uh, engage that hover, and you'll have to reset the system. But uh, that's worked pretty well. Now, one of the other things that happens when we press that hover switch, or the hover button on the cyclic, is it engages all, um, altitude hold, which is depicted by this button lit up here. Which again show we can be see can be seen here on the vertical speed indicator that we're holding a level position. Now, what's quite nice is you can turn that off, lower the collective gently, and you'll find you'll descend, but the autopilot will keep you in the same position above that hover point. And likewise, if you raise the collective, it'll try and keep you there. But bear in mind any aggressive maneuver mo movements of these inputs will likely uh, disengage the hover mode um, or it'll um, reduce the aircraft's ability to hold it. And the other thing to mention is once this switch is on, yes it will put you level but it, again if you drop the collective too low or you raise it too high then you're likely to lose the hover um, and you'll start descending. You effectively override the hover. So bear that in mind. Right so that's how we transition to a hover mode with the flight director on. Now, to do it with the flight director off, I shall show you. This is not my preferred method, but it's certainly a way of doing it. So again, remember flight director off mode is really good for cross countries or navigating to a landmark. So we hold the trimmer, keep it held, and then we let go. And that should trim the aircraft to uh, the heading we want, the bank angle we want, um, of course, and the pitch. There we go. Right, to transition to a hover in this mode, what we need to do, we need to hold the trimmer switch down. We need to obviously raise the nose to slow down. So I'm still holding the trimmer switch the entire time. Let's lower that collective so we don't uh, gain too much height. So I'm holding that trimmer switch the entire time. I'm still holding it, still holding it, because we're effectively setting the trim once we've got it to where we want it. And this requires you to hold it all the time. This is why I prefer the flight director mode, because you can just do minor trim inputs to get it where you want it. But here we go. I'm still pulling back, still pulling back, still holding the button, still holding that trimmer. Let's try and get that in the middle. Once we're roughly where we should be, let's let go. Now we've trimmed. Now we might have to do that again. Hold the trimmer in. Let's get to a stationary position. There we go. And as soon as you've got it, you click the hover button. And there we go. It will try and hover the black shark over that point that we designated. Now there is a little cheat you can do. You can press the hover button again. And what will happen is it will re-trim, um, uh, obviously, to a, nearer po a point nearer to where you your black shark was. So you can actually use the trimmer switch as well if you look here you can keep clicking that trimmer and that helps fine tune the hover so that's something to bear in mind as well okay so that's the two ways of transitioning into a hover and one of the things we ought to talk about here is um, what happens um, to quite a few people when they first try to get into a hover particularly if they're sort of descending they want to sit behind some trees and um, they want to descend really quickly and sit behind some trees and maybe pop up and then uh, take a shot or whatever at the target head. Well, 
one of the things that tends to happen is people tend to descend too quickly um, uh, before they and slow down too quickly to get into the hover, and that will put you into quite a dangerous um, state called a vortex ring state. And I'll demonstrate it now. It's probably quite good to go out with an explosion on one of these videos. So let's take hover mode off, and this is what we need to avoid really. Let's put flight director mode on. Is descending too quickly and slowing down may well mean we catch the wash, the downward wash from the rotor. That means we overtake the downward wash of the rotor, which means basically there these little vortices that, that are created on the tips of the rotor and we lose lift and it's a very, very dangerous state to be in. So it's called the vortex ring state and helicopter pilots um, train to keep away from it basically. There are ways out of it but uh, we can talk about that in another video. So if you are coming down into a hover, descend gently and s and make a sort of positive movement forward into the hover. Try not to descend whilst hovering because that's when you can enter it into it and I'm going to demonstrate that now. So I'm going to slow down the black shark Let's get some height as well. Let's slow it down, slow it down. So let's say I'm moving quite slowly, like I am now. Okay, here we go. We're slowing it down. Right. I want to get into hover near the ground. So the tendency here is to lower the collective, which I've just done. Look, I've got a big descent rate, and then pull back on the cyclic to slow myself down into the hover. And you watch what happens. Here we go. Look, it's vibrating. We're now in the vortex ring state, and I can't raise the collective to get out of it. And I'm trying. I might be able to get out of it. Watch no. Ground. That's it. Watch yeah. a ground. So there we go. That's a good example of Watch what happens. There we go. Um, of entering a vortex ring state. So to avoid that, remember, we transition into a hover gently forward and uh, we descend slowly. So it's a nice gentle descent and a forward motion into a hover. And if you can master that at the end of aggress an aggressive maneuver, then you'll get into hover quite quickly. But if you move too quickly, you'll catch that downwash and uh, potentially lose all your lift and crash into the ground. So please do watch out for that. Well, hopefully this has helped you um, and sort of helped understand how we get into the hover from a flight director mode on um, trimmer setting and a flight director mode off. If you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments below or uh, anything you would like to see in a future video. There will be more. Um, anyway, I hope to see you in multiplayer sometime soon and uh, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.